canceled by beef? What's up with that? We'll talk about it here in just a moment. Okay, so like I said in the intro there, we were canceled by beef. Yeah, like I said, I don't know if like, you see them, they're, they're roaming around out here behind me and I don't want to take any chances with beef on the hoof getting a arrow stuck in them. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to be responsible for that. Also, we got us a, a good wind. Um, we're looking at about 3.4. And actually, since I've been out here, for, I've been at, standing around for an hour. Oh, there went to 4.1. 4 so I've been standing out here for a while, like it's about an hour. Now I'm hoping that beef on the hoof goes out further. But uh, they've moved, but still I, oh, 4.2. Yeah, the wind is picking up, 4.7. Oh man, I don't want to look at that anymore because I want to shoot. So, so we'll take this. I don't know if you can hear the wind coming through my microphone or not. Yep, there's a wind there. So, let me take this opportunity here a little bit to explain a little bit about my arrows. When I say heavy arrows or light arrows, these are my homemade arrows. Okay. So when I say light arrows, I'm talking, for me, 500 grain arrows, pure and simple. Um, light arrows technically means arrows that come with the crossbow. And I think, if I remember correctly, mine were 400 grain arrows to get that 470 mark. Um, but those are light arrows, extremely light arrows. Um, but I want the kinetic energy, I want the momentum, I want the, uh, everything behind them a little bit heavier. So for an example, if I wanted to shoot something heavier like, um, oh, like an elk, um, I would have that power to go through that elk and knock it down. Um, but again, it's, it's your preference on how you want to do things. It's not my preference. How you, to tell you what to do, but that's my preference. I want a heavier arrow that's going to um, uh, penetrate whatever I'm shooting at. Now I know I can get I, I, with the 400 grain arrows. I know I can penetrate uh, a small animal, no problem at all, no problem. But a heavier arrow for a bigger animals would be great, and also a bit heavier to shoot out just a little bit further. Um, but 40 yards is my maximum, and I want a good shot. I want that penetration. And I also don't want a big arc and a whole bunch of other stuff. So that's what my explanation is for arrows. Like, excuse me, like I said, I got some arrows that are almost 600 grains. I don't think those are gonna work. I really don't. You know, for short shots, maybe, but you gotta remember, if you're out in the woods, you get that big arc, what could you hit? That's right, a branch. Something that's gonna knock that arrow out of the way. So, that's not gonna work. Um, but experimentation and building and all that kind of stuff, that's all it was for. So now I gotta just def define my arrows that I wanna use. Um, but I wanted to shoot my 502 grain and uh, 424 or whatever they were, arrows out to 50 yards. But I want a nice, calm day to do that. And you know what? Yesterday afternoon was a nice, calm day, but took the kids to the park instead. So with that said, I got a lot of stuff coming up over the next few weeks. I'm going to do my best to get out and shoot for you guys. Um, so today's Friday, 
So next week I am 100% booked. I got a doctor's appointment. Um, I got uh, physical therapy. I said phys physical therapy, a doctor's appointment, graduation for my daughter in kindergarten. Um, yeah, and the kids last week of school, my old ones. They get out of school next week, early on Friday, next Friday. So it's going to be doing this, juggling a lot of stuff. So if, I, if you don't see me out here for a while, that's why. And then, like I said, I got vacation coming up in June. Um, don't know quite where we're going to go, but I'm looking forward to it. Nine days of, of uh, vacation with the wife and kids. So, I know there wasn't much in this video except for the beef on the hoof. And wouldn't you know it, they're a bit further away now. But the wind uh, is the main issue here. And I, because I can feel it picking up a little bit. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, we're already steady at four, 4.0 miles per hour. Oh, there we go. 4.7, yeah, so that's not good for shooting arrows. If I had it all set up, man, everything in my in my scope and everything done, there'd be no problem, I could reset it, but yeah. But it is nice and clear, beautiful day, except for the wind. All right, so again, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember to hit that subscribe button and all those buttons and bells and all that kind of stuff, go ahead and do me a favor and hit those really quick. And remember, these episodes are dedicated to my son, and thank you for watching Oh Windy and Beefy Utah Crossbow Hunter.